Yeah, hi there. These comments are for JBH, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the seven step system to pass a TOEFL IBT. You completed an independent writing practice test. And I'm going to give you some comments right now. So I'll make corrections as we go. Many students have to with roommates while you want to say here going to school or university. Different roommates. I'm going to make this plural, have different personalities and different qualities. However, people with some positive qualities can be, because that's plural, I'm going to say very nice roommates. Probably don't need this. A good roommate first should be clean. Because you don't say here apartments are places where so many people share together. Need a new sentence here. So if, give you a better word here, if, if the living arrangements are not clean, other roommates might get sick. The second important quality is So he or she is, you want to say quiet, not quilt. Quilt's a blanket, so don't let your spell check change the words to totally different words. Makes it hard to communicate. So the second important quality of a roommate is he or she is quiet because nobody wants to be bothered by other people. All right. First. You need a noun here, not an adjective. So cleanliness is the most important quality that a roommate should have. For example, last winter vacation, most of my roommates went back to China, but one of my roommates stayed. Now you're talking about past. How do I know? You said last winter vacation. So I'm going to change these to past, but one of my roommates stayed. After one month, not mouth, after one month, when I went back to my apartment, I'm going to get rid of all that. You need to be more specific in your language. The The uncleanliness How about, probably don't even need to say that, let's be more concise. The uncleanliness of the apartment shocked me. The meals we bought one month ago We're still there. Need to have a period here to separate these two sentences so you don't have a comma splice. When I opened the refrigerator, the terrible smell, again, we're talking about past, right? Made me feel made me feel so sick. At that time, the only thing I thought was I 
I will never live with this man anymore if it is possible. You can't let spell check change things to different words that hurts your writing. Uh, you say cleanliness is an important quality that not only makes which not only makes me feel better but also we have to use parallel structure here so we'll use the word makes again so that way we have So is a quality that not only makes me feel better, but also makes the living environment better. It also helps everyone who lives, I would use the word me here. Okay, so I'm going to kind of run out of time here. I don't want to take too much time on the editing here. Okay, so now I have corrected at least two of your paragraphs. I'm going to stop the correction right there. It's just going to take me too long to do it. But I think overall, I mean, I like how you do have a thesis. You have topic sentences, I think, in the body paragraphs of your essays. That's good. However, this paragraph here needs to be developed more. So and then it will be closer to what you said here. So you didn't really give a specific example in paragraph four to help illustrate your point. You had a conclusion. Right now, here's a, here's a question. So uh, what is your score here and why? Okay, so we have three, we have two, we have one. Uh, I'm going to say here, an essay at this level may reveal one or more of the following weaknesses. Limited to development and response. I think paragraph three needed to to be developed more, and that also gives you a problem here. You have a lot of problems with your words or your word forms and accumulation of errors. So I'm going to put you in the two range. Now for the purposes of our assignment, let's see what we have here. I'm going to put you in the two range. Um, you have 2.0 is um, to 2.4 is lower, higher will be 2.5. I'm gonna put you in that, I'm gonna put you about 2.2. So 2.2 out of five on this. And this is gonna put you for the purposes uh, of our class, I'm gonna put you at 77 points on this assignment. All right, so what do you do? Uh, I recommend that you spend a lot of time in the grammar part of my online course. Remember in the very beginning of the quarter, uh, I gave you, I think I gave you some suggestions on some things you can do there. So I think go to stealth.bettertoefelscores.com and focus in the grammar section. That's probably your best bet right now. Go through all those lessons and that will help you develop better control of your language use.